closer look at the efforts the college Republicans have been doing on campus, and our own Ryan Burke sat down to figure out what they've been doing. The students involved with college Republicans have been campaigning on campus with a clear goal in mind for the future. As a, as, as a college student concerned about the job market after I graduate, uh, I'm looking for a candidate who will provide jobs for the state of Wisconsin and keep businesses here and provide just opportunities and Scott Walker is a candidate for me. One of their main efforts this year has been Scott Walker's brown bag movement. And basically that's three principles for the brown bag movement. It's uh, don't spend more than you have, smaller government is better government, and people create jobs, not the government. These students are trying to make sure that the voice of the conservative student is heard. And uh, basically, you know, trying trying to engage uh, students as, as much as possible um, because uh, there's a, a stereotype, quite frankly, that uh, students aren't either involved in politics or that uh, you know there aren't many conservative students out there. And uh, our job is to uh, give them a voice and make sure that they're active in uh, in politics as much as possible. So far, they're happy with the response they've gotten from students. We handed out close to 400 bags yesterday, which is amazing, especially on a college campus. Um, we've been getting some pretty good feedback, which is, which is wonderful. For MUTV News, this is Ryan Chambers. Thank you, Ryan. I got the chance to sit down with Aaron Hollenberger yesterday. Here's what he had to say about his drive for politics. Thank you for joining us. Thanks for uh, coming on the show. Uh, my first question for you is just uh, what got you interested in politics and why college Republicans? What got you interested in that? Yeah, I think my interest in politics certainly uh, stems from interest in current events, current affairs, but also uh, in 2002, uh, my uncle was elected an elected sheriff in, the, in Jefferson County, just west of here. So I, I did a little bit for his campaign, kind of get interested. Okay. Now, just to get your insight on a few, few of the candidates and find out uh, some information about them. First of all, Scott Walker, uh, obviously Republican candidate. And can you just give us, if you had to give a brief background yeah. of him, uh, how would you describe him? Yeah, I actually uh, worked as an intern for Scott Walker for a couple of months uh, my freshman year. But mm -hmm. uh, Scott Walker uh, actually is a Marquette. He didn't graduate, but he went to school here at Marquette. Uh, he, in 19, I think it was 93, 92, he was uh, elected in a special session, a special election to the assembly mm -hmm. where he served for almost 10 years before electing being elected to the uh, Milwaukee County executive seat uh, in a, a recall almost election, it's actually a resignation, but it was going to be a recall. And he's been reelected, I think, three times ever since. And uh, I think most people know him as Scott Walker, the county executive, um, because that's where he's been for the last eight years. And so when he's been Milwaukee County executive, he's done a lot of great things. Uh, he's been known for bucking the mm -hmm. county board. There's 19 county board members in Milwaukee County, many of whom do not agree with Scott Walker. So he's got a, a reputation for uh, being the fighter, so to speak. And sort of hitting on that point, I feel like from watching the debates and seeing different people's opinions of him, he either, in his position as county executive, is either viewed as the hero that saved Milwaukee County and mm -hmm. saved the budget, or the individual that just completely destroyed it. How would you respond to the people who say that he came into Milwaukee County and hasn't left it any better than he found it? Well, I think uh, there's a lot of people who things have been the way they are, and that's the way they should stay. And so when you've got a guy like Scott Walker, who's very innovative mm -hmm. in the way he thinks, I mean, he's, he's made proposals that are very out there, and I think people get scared uh, because it's always, uh, the zoo's always been county controlled, paid by the taxpayers, and the, mm -hmm. the airport's been that way, and I think there's been so much, uh, the union's always gotten this, the, mm -hmm. and that uh, people are so used to having that comfort that when Scott Walker comes in with a proposal that it's very out there, very different, that can save money, mm -hmm. I think people get a little scared. I think he certainly has left Milwaukee County in a good, in a, in a better position than when he came here. The bonding is down, they've paid off some debt, they haven't really increased uh, uh, property taxes. Mm -hmm. uh, the county board has done a little increases, but I think he's overall done a really good job. Okay. And one final question about Scott Walker. Obviously, small town guy, grew up in uh, Walworth County, mm -hmm. and really really sells himself as the brown bag candidate. Mm -hmm. uh, can you tell a little bit about uh, what that is and why you think he has that angle? Yeah, the, the brown bag movement to uh, Scott Walker is, uh, you know, in public families, mm -hmm. they've got to somehow cut money. They've got to uh, either not eat out when they go to lunch. Early on in the campaign, if you might remember, he says he, he has a 1998 Saturn uh -huh. that he still drives. and. 
and that's kind of the way he's he's run his own life. If, if you remember, he's given back a lot of his, his salary as county executive, mm -hmm. and so it's the family style budgeting I like to call it. And so what happens is the families they cut back and they find easy ways to cut back, and that's brown bag lunches, uh, not buying the new car, not buying the neat, not buying the luxuries, but but cutting back. And I think that's what he wants to do in government. Okay. Well, uh, we're just about out of time, but I'd like to thank you for coming on the show, and uh, best of luck to you, and thank you for helping us out. All right. Thank you, Ryan. Thank you. The race for Wisconsin governor is a tight one. <laughs> Milwaukee Mayor Tom Barrett is the Democrat running for governor. He has had endorsements from President Obama, Vice President Biden, and other political figures. He is a proponent of increasing tourism and building high-speed rail within the state. And over on the Republican side, we have Milwaukee County Executive Scott Walker. Walker attended Marquette University back in the 80s, and Walker's focus is on cutting taxes and attracting business and industry to the state. Do those political ads bother you, or do they help make your vote? Stay tuned for our in-depth look at political advertising after the break. We've organized on this campus and 19 others, so 20 overall, and it's really ultimately about talking about jobs. And often when I go to college campuses, I ask folks, how many of you are seniors or juniors, how many of you have jobs lined up? And unfortunately, ultimately those hands go down. I want to make sure they've got a governor who's going to make it easier to get a job once they get out of college. 